Buckle up, it's the Insurance Dudes Podcast. Oh, it, now, if you're not watching along at home, Mr. Jason just did the bell with his nose. In, in, in I Spanish, am, they could say, not ease. I'm more than just a one-trick pony, Mr. Craig. <sighs> you've just, that's why you're, uh, why you're my partner. You've just here. seen another, yeah, you've just seen another trick yeah. to this pony. Okay, so we're into the pillar talk. We've talked about hiring, training. Today, I'm extremely excited. Oh, it's our favorite. To talk about marketing. Marketing. Because without marketing, it's like not putting gas in the car. That's it. That's it. I want gas in my car because I want to drive. I like to drive fast, Mr. Craig. Yep, yep, yep. Marketing is the tree that you're planting today. It is. It's or fun, man. I'm, I mean, mar- A, marketing's fun. If you don't like marketing, it at least creates the virtual line out your door. Yeah. Ever, the, the predictability like we were talking about, it's got to happen. Yeah. Why do some agents, it drives me nuts when agents brag about the fact that they don't do anything for marketing. I don't get it. I mean, it's fine if you want to go out and kiss babies and hug trees or whatever you do. You go out there and meet the community, and that's fine. But that's not scalable. That's awesome. It's not scalable You and predictable. You need, Yeah, you need something on the back end that you control that's creating the consistency so that, hey, man, if you don't have a walk-in that day or whatever lead sources, whatever sources that you are using – sounds like you're probably using a lot of time at that point. Yeah. Whatever that is dries up that you're not left vulnerable. Right. What happens if you don't want to go to the chamber meeting anymore and you don't want to walk in and hand out brownies to all the mortgage officers anymore? Right. then? Yep. You got to do something for marketing. Even, I mean, that is part of marketing is doing those things, but yeah, let's create more of a line out the door. So, Number one, one of the first things that you have to do is the same. It's funny. I think a couple episodes ago, Mm. we were talking the same thing here. What is number one? It's just like your favorite movie, Mr. Jason. It's the Avatar. (laughs) That's right. Yep. Who? Now, I know what some people are thinking. I, I will write anybody. Yes. They will. That's what I used to do. Uh-huh. Just anybody. Right? Yeah. But I mean, in this day and age where we're data centric, we can, we have the ability to niche down a little bit. So it's creating that avatar. What does your agency thrive at? What produces great income with the least amount of effort? Now, not to say you can't do it all. I'm not saying that, but like I'm saying that there's with marketing niche down to like one specific client that you can build a process around and scale it, right? You can still help them. Like, let's say it's people hate auto insurance, but let's just say auto insurance. So if it's auto, but you can do home, you can do life, you can do business, all this stuff, right? But just focus on the life insurance or the um, auto insurance for that person and have that be the door to open up. Of course, if that person needs something else and you should be cross-selling and mentioning everything, but that let that be the door opener yeah. that you let the traffic come in from. You know what yeah. I mean? And create a process around it. Have well, that can, avatar. It's simplicity, right? If you know where you're going to get the bulk, then that's the thing you're going to focus on. So like, like Carruthers, we, Carruthers is our brothers from another mother's that we had on the episode before. Mm-hmm. He uses the the wedding insurance, right? He doesn't make any money. He said everybody laughed at him, which made him love it even more. But get right. people in the door somehow, then you do the magic, right? Right. A lot of folks, if you're with a captive carrier, you may not be the least expensive. You don't have a lot of options. So you're trapped in one price game. Well, that's okay. You can still buy leads. It doesn't mean that you're going to you're going to start the conversation with guess what? We have the most ex- expensive insurance. Do you want a quote? Like it's that, that isn't how that call goes. But what you can do is meet the client where they are. We talk about that all the time. Say the thing that they want and everybody wants fast, quick, cheap, 
just at least to get them in the door. And so your focus, your marketing direction doesn't need to be some, it doesn't need to be a niche in that, like, these are people that own horses, or these are people that drive monster trucks. It could also be this channel, right? So you, yep. everybody knows that we're heavily invested in internet leads, right? So we buy a lot of internet leads each month and we have a whole process around it. And we did that by design because it's easy and pre- well, it's not necessarily easy, but it's created predictability. Because we know right. that if we spend X, we're going to get this out the back. And if we're not, then we know somewhere in that pipeline, there's something that, that there's an inefficiency that we can then t- tinker with and, and, and improve. And yep. so whether it's that or you're doing mailers or, or whatever, you got to focus on one main, one, do one main yep. strategy. doesn't mean, like Jason said, you don't turn away somebody if they walk in, but you know what? We're not going out of our way. We don't put the the little guy up front with the inflatable trying to get people to come in or somebody dancing on the yes. corner. It's like, we don't want that. It takes up too much time. We're in a volume mm-hmm. game. When you're making hundreds yep. a year off of the product which you sell, you have to be at, played at scale. Right. And you have to be doing something that is uh, future-proof. No one's going anywhere with the internet, 40%. More e-commerce have happened in this last year than the previous year. We all know that everybody's searching online. We're getting trained to buy more and more online. That's why internet leads are awesome. You can aggregate your own. You can buy others. So if that's the route that you want to go, which is the route that I like, then you have to be good at it. Yep. So then it's like, well, then I just need it. I don't necessarily need the best. You don't want to be vulnerable to just needing the best leads, whatever that means. Now you just need to be better than all of your peers at those internet leads, right? Yeah. So then that's where the whole building your funnel, your customer journey, making sure your sales process is rock solid. So just like you're talking about the avatar, you're building this funnel, go, creating all the, a way that all these customers come in and some sort of sales process to that you can constantly tweak, make better to increase the sales as you bring in these people. But I don't think a lot of people think about this with insurance is a, it's a reoccurring model. So even if you break even on the front end, you're still going to get, going to net money, right? Yep. On the back end, because it's a reoccurring model. Yep. Even if you have 50% retention and you break all, even on the front end. And it's end. all measurable too. You could find that yeah. out. You could say, okay, my retention on uh, for a year is this. My retention for two years is this. My retention for three years is this. So you could look at, at the breakup, the the mix of your book, if you will, and, and yep. say, all right, so if 20% bounces the first year, I know I made the front end. If the yep. next 30% is this, then I know that my lifetime value on that er, on that tranche is X. You you could calculate your lifetime value of all the clients and really see where and how you make the money so that you can drive the machine because it all goes right back yep. in. Yep. So you got and your avatar. Internet, I wanted to quote somebody. Yes. Somebody said this on our show and I love it. The internet is undefeated. So <laughs> we should be leveraging that thing that is undefeated. They're undefeated in all categories. Undefeated in sales. <laughs> yeah. It's undefeated in all categories, right? Like yeah. nobody's beating the internet. Ask Sears, right. ask Blockbuster, right? It, it if if you don't adapt and use the tools that are there that are producing the results, it could be a challenge. And there's so many places on the internet to advertise. So the, that yeah. that's a fun one, especially if you're independent. Super fun because you can also kind of advertise brand as well. Infinite possibilities, retargeting, all the stuff that you know our grandfathers would have. Our if you have any grandfathers that were in business that they would have loved to have, like would have given them like, there's so much competitive advantage that we have. And it's just creating that avatar, creating that funnel, creating your sales process because we have the reoccurring model. Remember you can start narrow with that one avatar, bring them in, create the customer journey coming in, getting a post purchase ascension, which will also, and, and also to, create that retention along that sales Ooh, process. Did so, you say ascension to create retention? Yes. So you have your funnel, the way they're going to yep. be brought in, you intentionally lay it out, the sales process, but then the post-sale process and the follow-up process beyond that. Really create that, create the experience, 
that you want to be known for, that you, that you want to make people feel, create that, and then you'll have the retention there as well. Yeah. And all of that's important, especially if you're if you create a situation where you can pour gas on that fire and scale that thing and start getting more and more premium in the door. Well, as that retention goes up, that's significant, right? So really, yep. really critical. Really critical. But if you haven't calculated lifetime value, it's a must. It's a must because it, it it really shows you the path to what you could spend. And one other thing back in the middle of that marketing, sure. a lot of agents don't stick it out with a marketing source for long enough, right? You may see a thousand dollar cost per sale the first week of something because maybe these leads take longer to marinate. But as you get into the second week, the third week, the fourth week, the fifth week, you start those things start to tip as long as the process is there, right? As long as you're making the yeah. dials on that data, those dials on the data is what makes all the difference. Yep. And so I going back to this whole hiring, training, marketing conversation and everything. The bottom line is it all has to do with being intentional. Just be intentional with it all. If you're intentional, you can be successful. If you're not intentional with it, it's not going to work Yeah, at all. So be intentional with this stuff. Like, like think about the entirety of the sales process, the hiring process, the training process. Yep. Just be intentional with it. It doesn't have to be great, but just be intentional with it. You already have, you already know enough to make it work. Yeah, hundred percent. And then once it's in play, you can always tweak it and make it better. Yeah. If you find yourself putting out fires all day long, there aren't processes in place. And so that that's the first thing. I know that there was a point where I was all day long putting out fires. Mm -hmm. And I think to myself, okay, I realize now, had there been processes in place to preempt those fires? or the people to protect from the fires, then there'd be a lot more leverage to create other processes and create more efficiencies and create and build out better marketing execution. So just think of that. If you're sitting and you're listening to this and, and you go, man, I, that's what I'm doing all day long. That's okay. Now you're aware of it and you can sit down, take some time tonight, bust out a notebook and start writing down what were the fires I put out? And then work backwards. What are the steps to put so that that doesn't happen? Or who could do that instead of you so that then you could create all of these processes we've been talking about? The hiring, the training, the onboarding, all of it, the marketing. Because all of these things are totally doable. Right. If two insurance dudes like us could do it, then anybody could do it. Right. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Well, I think that's in the books. Yeah, it's in the books. And guess what? I think that what, that brings us me. right up to to this. This might be number two ninety nine. It might be. It might not though. Might not be. Who knows? But it might be, Mister Craig. Well, Ron and Corey will figure that out. But it might not be, Mister Craig. But it might be. But that's true. It might be. Maybe they might do not. do number. But it might not three hundred. <laughs> I wanted to say do do too. Well, you did. I did. did. All right. All that right. Well, we'll see you on season two. Season two. When season two drops, this is our ask. Season two, you got to go in there. You got to do reviews. You got to share it. You got to create this event for us because we are here. We want to bring more and more powerful guests for season two than you've ever seen. And you just wait because it's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting and we want to serve as many agents as we can. So please post this to your Facebook accounts, get people to subscribe, get it out there. And the more listeners we have, the more value we can bring by getting better guests. Yep. Not that the ones we have Not aren't awesome. <laughs> I love that. I knew that. I, I was baiting them. You're like, wait, no, what? We, they, they've all been awesome. So once this is the first thing you've ever heard, well, now you got 300 other ones to listen to. That's right. That's as might, might be even better than this. Maybe the very beginning is pretty rough, but <laughs> just like this. So thank you. And if thank they want you. to text Mr. Jason, how can they? Oh, they will have to reach out to 520. 214-2219. Oh, you wrote it up on your sticky note, didn't you? Oh, I didn't. You I remember it. Is that right? Yeah. That's right. Look That's right. Me. You can't call that number. So we've had some people try to call that and, and it's just a texting number. 
It's a texting number for encouragement daily here and there's here and there's we're going to uh, dish out some values. Yep. And such. So when you text 520-224-2219, you can guess <laughs> what Mr. Jason's height is. And I'm going to give you a clue. It's either four foot eight or six foot three. It's one of those two. <laughs> Which or one nine is it? foot three. Oh, yeah. There's a third option, too. <laughs> nine foot three. Is there a nine foot three person? Is it know. Mr. Jason? <laughs> well, you'll find out in season two. Ooh, the deuce. The cli- the cli- <laughs> We're dropping the deuce soon. <laughs> to be continue. Hey, Jason. Yes, Mr. Craig. That was another awesome episode, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Well, if people want to get a little bit more action and, and learn how to do uh, write 100,000 in premium off yes. of even the worst internet leads, where could they go? They can go to live.teledudes.com. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Are we going to be there? Yes. It's a weekly call that we're doing right now that will, it's live and it will show you the process. The entire process is mm. super awesome. Mm. I love it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sign up right now. Live.teledudes.com. Live.teledudes.com. That's live.teledudes.com. Hey, Craig, there's a new community that we are starting that I cannot wait to tell everybody about. It is our live texting community where you and I are going to answer people's questions and give them free content right are you kidding me we get to talk to them yeah which is awesome but they have to opt in they have to text us at 520-214-2219 that's 520-214-2219 nice i'm gonna gonna respond to these texts i'm gonna respond to them for sure live i'm into it too it's gonna be awesome and it's a it's gonna be our new texting community where we're gonna get back to everybody that we can and drop some crazy content free content and free um the calculator that you just came up with Mm. that's right the calling calculator sales material i mean everything for insurance agents this is it it's the best texting community out there for insurance agents well what the heck is that number again i can't remember it it's 520-214-2219 that's five two zero two one four two two one nine. I love it. I'm gonna text it right now. Five two zero two one four two two one nine. All right. I'll see you later, Mr. Jason. Bye, Mr. Craig. Wait, do they even listen to this on the radio anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Nice. Uh, all right.